We've got the Refresh Mazda MX-5. From California. Look at Andrea driving stick. Oh my God, I love it. So, I love this. Was it coming up on three years ago? Yeah. Uh, it was this, not this very car, but this model. It was the MX-5 Miata that Andrea learned to drive stick on. And look at you now, like look a boss. Look at me, back in the MX-5 and loving it in California on this gorgeous sunny day. All right, before we get into what's new for 2024, what's under the hood of this thing? A two liter four cylinder with a six speed manual transmission, available six speed automatic transmission, 181 horsepower and 151 pound feet of torque. This is a rear wheel drive model and premium fuel is recommended, but you can use regular. In Canada, the automatic transmission is an option on trims one up from the base model. But in the U.S., it's only available if you get the top Grand Touring trim. New model year, some updates, but we want to know what are the key standard features. The base trim comes with an 8.8 inch touchscreen display with Mazda Connect, wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a six speaker audio system, black cloth upholstery, six way manual driver's seat, four way manual passenger seat, push button start, advanced keyless entry, and eye active sense safety features. Well, Andrea has it in fourth gear. Of course. <laughs> of course I do. But what, what else can we put it in? <laughs> you got to put it in S for subscribe. And if you can hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when all of our videos drop and then you can watch them. And we do this a couple car review twice a week. The first one drops on Wednesday. We put another one out on Saturday. So make sure to like and subscribe, but also follow along on Instagram. It's motormouth underscore Andrea to see what's going on behind the scenes. For me, it's motormouth underscore auto and the links are below the like button. So if you have never been to this part of California, just outside of Los Angeles, is the Angeles Crest Highway and the Angeles Forest. And this is where we're driving today. Beautiful sunshine. And we are with the roof down. Now, uh, Andrea loves this car, but there have been some tweaks done yeah. for 2024. Let's yeah. get into that. We've got some tweaks to the exterior, front headlights, rear tail lights, and then the interior gets updated technology. An 8.8 inch display screen with Mazda Connect, standard wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but available wireless. And guess what? When you use wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, it becomes a touch screen. And we have it working that way today. And it's been working just fine. So uh, Dave Coleman from Mazda USA, yeah. one of the engineers, a great guy, we've met him many times on many trips, was telling us that the whole wiring harness for the entire car was redone. So even though you just see the bigger screen, which is welcome and people will like it, yeah. the entire electrical system was redone to support other changes. That's the one you notice. There's also an available new limited slip differential. It still has kinematic posture control, which works with the suspension and the braking system to give it a little bit better handling but also control when you're taking those corners. So Dave did some show and tell today with the new differential. He took it apart and put it back together for us in a nice display. And by the way, that is the size of the rear differential. I thought it was tiny and he says, Same. He says it's a Miata, so of course <laughs> it's got to be tiny. Yeah. But it's all designed to give you better balance and control, especially when cornering. The back end is much more predictable now. When you lift off the throttle in a corner, the back end is going to stay uh, much more poised. And also the steering movements yeah. are much more direct and nimble and you don't have to correct the steering over and over uh, on center can be a little bit problematic problem solved oh the steering is incredible so precise we're on a twisty road right now this thing is beautiful it corners i mean I You've got to try it. You've yeah. got to try one. And it's just got this sporty drive. It's just such a special vehicle, a special sports car that is more affordable. It's one that we can all kind of wish for. And I think if you were to go with something like the base tram, it's just an affordable option. Okay, so I have said many times, Andrea, pound for pound, dollar for dollar, yeah. there is no better car on the road. If you want to have some fun, you want to have a sports car, you want to throw it around, uh, you are not going to find a better car than this. Plus, you get a convertible as standard equipment. So Dave told us the changes that 
they made are significant to the dynamics of the car, but somebody getting in this after a year or so hasn't yeah. been like us, uh, we're not going to notice. It's only when you go from last year's model to this year's model, you would notice those changes. Um, I, I take his word for it. It's oh, a dramatic yeah. improvement. They dial into all the fine oh. details on these cars, so uh, it's a, a nice improvement. It's already a great car. They've just improved it. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely fabulous. It's one of my favorite vehicles on the road. Oh, oh, I, oh, I, oh, oh, I just want to say, <laughs> stick around because we have an announcement about yeah. one of Andrea's favorite cars of all time, yeah. which is the Miata. And you know what? The exterior looks, it is beautiful. It's one of those vehicles that you park and then you turn and you got to look at it and admire it. It's just a vehicle that makes me so happy. Okay, on the front, the major change is that the daytime running lights were those little angles at the bottom yeah. of the front spoiler. Uh, those are now just black pieces and the actual lights have been moved into the headlamps. So that's what they've done. They've cleaned that up and at the back, they've got new tail lamps as well. So not a lot of changes on the outside. No. You love the design. And if Andrea loves the design, I'm happy. <laughs> and you know what? I like the tweaks that they've made. I like the way that the headlamps look. But you know what? I like the previous model as well. I think that Mazda does such a great job with the MX-5. Now, there's also a new color. It's called Aero Gray. It's That's the one that one. we're driving. Yeah. yeah. This comes standard with LED headlights, LED tail lights. You get 17-inch wheels in Canada as standard and 16-inch wheels in the U.S. Okay, we stopped to switch drivers, and this is how easy it is to put this roof up. That's it. And you want to, oh, oh, the sun's out. Oh, time to put the roof down. And it's so light. That's it. Now, if you get the retractable fastback. In a fast second, I gotta suck my gut in here. All right, keep going. Now, if you get the retractable fastback, it is a power roof. And you know what? It takes 13 seconds to put that one down. Mm -hmm. But I like the soft top. It's always gotta be the soft top for me. Yeah. All right. We're in the dirt. Oh, yeah. There we, we go. go. Zach's in. So one of the things before we talk about the interior is this car is all about balance. It's all about the driver being yeah. connected with the car and doing what the driver wants with ease. And that's been the philosophy. It's always been a small car. It's always been about weight management. Yeah. Not mine, the car. <laughs> uh, keeping the weight down, keeping the fun up. You yeah. don't need a huge V8 under the hood. Nope. You just need a potent and powerful and fun enough engine to get the job done. And I say, mission accomplished. And I think because Mazda has tweaked it so much along the way, they've just made all of those changes and have created this wonderful sports car. Now, we've got a package on our model. We actually are driving the middle trim. It's called the Sport Package in Canada and the Brembo Package in the US. And you can add it to the manual transmission model. It includes Brembo front brakes, red painted front and rear brake calipers, 17 inch BBS forged alloy wheels with dark finish. And in the interior, Recaro sport seats with Napa leather and Alcantara. So a couple things about the seats. I remember when this car was launched, they had it here in California on this very same highway, Andrea. Yeah. And initially, if you got the Recaro seats, you didn't get heated seats in the US. We see here, this is a US model. It does have heated seats now. So that's a nice thing. Yeah. And by the way, who turned the sun out? It's, <laughs> know, it's, not, the, it's, the sun? it's not the eclipse. <laughs> I can we're, actually take my sunglasses off. I know, we're actually moving further in to town now so we've got some fog and you can feel it's getting a little bit chillier do you want uh, the roof up no i don't want the roof up i want it down oh. i want to experience the whole thing okay so i just want to say one thing i took my sunglasses off yeah this is the thing with this car andrea i know there's can you hold them uh, yes because there's I can nowhere hold to put anything you. it's okay. so tiny there's a little cubby here yeah which is not the easiest to get to you can use that but that's about it. You know what? This is called cozy. This is good for two passengers, but my passenger will have to come with very little stuff. Yeah. Um, otherwise, for me, it's going to be absolutely perfect. I'll sit in the driver's side. I'll put my purse here and whatever else that I have. But yes, I would call it cozy. It's a date car. Yes. This has got available features like the nine speaker Bose sound system. It's got a 4.6 inch multi-information display. And as we already mentioned, available wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But 
You know what? I think for the price point, it's all that you need. It's a great little sports car. Yeah. Little. It brings, you it's, know what? Sun's out, fun's out. Clouds out. And the glasses are off. Anyway, I just want to say fun. it's a little car. You have two movable cup holders. Yeah. So with me sitting there and Andrea purse, it's got to be down by my feet. I will say what they miss on the inside cabin area for space, they make up for in the trunk. It's actually quite roomy and you can put, we've got all of our junk back there, including camera bags, tripods, lunches, yeah. uh, all kinds of stuff. So I think it, my it, purse is back there. It, it holds a lot of stuff, yeah. uh, but it's the, the cabin here, not a lot of nooks and crannies. How's my toupee look? It looks great. <laughs> it hasn't flown off yet. All right, so what's the announcement? So the announcement is, is that Mazda said, well, first off, let me just say, in her last review, we actually said, Mazda, we would really like a long-term test drive of the MX-5. As a joke, we a said, joke. oh, why don't you let us have one for the summer? I absolutely love this car. Mazda, if you need someone to do a long-term test drive, we're in. Only for the summer. <laughs> Yeah. So guess what they said? You can have one for the summer. Do you want one for the summer? And do you know what we said? Yes, yes we want one for the summer. So guess what? We're going to do some reviews on the MX-5. Some we'll road trips. Some Instagram posts, road trips. We can't wait. Yeah. And uh, I, I hopefully we'll have some more sun. This is funny we that we're, we're driving through <laughs> Angela's Crest and it is so foggy all yeah, of a sudden. Yeah, it got foggy. So one of the nice things about this car for a convertible, it's actually incredible value. We'll get into that, the fuel economy, and more in our vital stats. Let's start with pricing. We'll do Canada first and then move on to the U.S. The base soft top starts at just under $35,000 and the top trim soft top is $42,000. In the U.S., the base model starts at just under $29,000 and the top trim soft top is just over $34,000. Here's the fuel economy for the six-speed manual. Nine liters per 100 kilometer city, seven on the highway. That's 26 miles per gallon city, 34 miles per gallon highway. The warranty in Canada is three years with unlimited kilometers. In the U.S., it's three years, 36,000 miles. Lightning round, two things we like, two things we like to see improve. Love the way this handles. I just love the fact that they've committed to keep building this for the long run. And you know what we'd love to see is a little bit more storage somewhere, like maybe on the door pocket. Yeah. Just a little extra to throw a few more things in. All right, so. That's big news for us. Yeah. Hopefully you guys are excited that the car's coming and we're gonna do some road trips and have some fun. Yeah. This is the 2024 MX-5 Miata with some nice updates. What do you think of that? Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, subscribe and we'll see you next time.